Check it out, it's your man, Jay Rue the Damager. This is the Hip Hop Road Show, and today, this is the Brussels edition. We in Brussels. I got my man, A.G., with me for What's the legendary. Deal, baby? How you feeling, man? Digging in the crates. Yeah, you know yeah. what time it is. Um, for people who don't know, tell people who you are, because I know you as Andre the Giant. That's a fact. And people might know you, they might know your record, Soul Clap, uh, Fat Pockets. That's uh, a fact. What's Next up, level. my favorite joint? Next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nighttime mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Premier version. Yeah, that's that's yeah, so, my joint. Um, originally I'm Andre the Giant. You know what I mean? Uh, Ag is uh, short for Andre the Giant, and my partner is Showbiz, and we formed a group Showbiz and Ag, and we're from the legendary group Digging in the Crates, which is you know Law Finesse, Diamond D, OC, Fat Joe, Buck Wow. And Big L, of course, you know, and Diamond D. So, you know, this is what we do. We've been rocking since the 90s and all that, that type of flavor. I first featured on Law Finesse's album, The Funky Technician, on Wild Pitch Records and all that. So that's how I got my start. Finesse hooked me up with Show, and we've been rocking ever since. That's what's up. And and I see you now. You know, a lot of people, when they talk to you, they want to interview. I've known you for a long time. That's a fact. We, we done we, hung out we, and all that. Like long that. time. I used to come to the crib in Brooklyn and all that. We was on the same label. That's a fact. Um, you live in Japan now. That's yes, I do. How is that? Like I love it. You know what I mean? Um, I lived in New York for forty five years, and the last four years of my life, I've been living in Japan, and it's like finally I got a different speed, a different tempo of a different way of life, total different culture for sure. And I'm raising my seed out there, so it's a whole different experience for me. But it's very peaceful. So, like, what have you been up to these last years? Like, I know you have a website, but you yes. you. Tell them about your website, because I think that knowledge itself, and when we, we say knowledge itself, it's a very broad term. For sure. Um, For a lot of people, but knowledge itself with a black man is something that's- Totally different from everybody else. Yeah. It's different. So you, you, you run like a Jeopardy game or something, right? Right. So, so um, I have a website, agfditc.com, and I have a- I have this uh, particular Jeopardy game that I got in. Uh, it's in test mode right now. I tested it with Sadat X, actually. Okay. And it, uh, it's called Poor Righteous Teachers is the basics. And it has different categories, but it's basically about the lessons of the 5% with the father. Now, we all know the lessons come from Elijah Muhammad and Fard. But the father of law sees it and drew it up in a whole different understanding. So the Jeopardy game is actually to get involved and interact to get your mind sharp with the questions and answers of the 120 lessons. Okay, so the 120 lessons like? Who is the original man? The Asiatic black man? The maker. The, the owner. The cream of the planet Earth. Father of civilization. God of the universe. Okay, that's what's up. So, but, but I want to know about your experiences as far as being a brother from the Bronx. Right. Being a brother from the projects. Yes. Living in Japan. It's quite different. And I I actually live in Tokyo. Okay. And I, and I live in Yamaguchi. Okay. Which is the mountains. Okay. It's totally different from Tokyo. Right, Tokyo right. is more like New York in the city. And Yamaguchi is like the mountains and really like- In the city, mountains. In the mountains. <laughs> so most of my time is spent in Yamaguchi because that's where my daughter goes to school. Okay. And that's where my wife was uh, raised at. Right. So we're basically, uh, my daughter's following m- my wife's- heritage and culture that way. And it's very different. And I don't believe I don't think a lot of brothers from the South Bronx Patterson projects could actually su- not survive but maintain living out there without losing their And mind. that's why I wanted to talk to you because you know a lot of times brothers think they hard, they think they gangster, they think they this. You never know how gangster you are. Until you move to a different country. Yo, bro. This, on your own. There's viper snakes literally around my crib. Around the house. See? Things you've never seen. Now, like me, I live in Germany right now. Like me, I'm from East New York. I'm from the hood. A like being a, in Germany, is it takes a lot of courage to learn a new language, to, to learn a new culture, to be around different I, people. I say one thing. You definitely have to be in tune with yourself. And that's what this, I think that's what it's really about, being in tune with yourself and knowing who you are. Because like I said, knowledge of self is such a broad term, For but sure. 
being in tune with who you are yeah, that's, as an individual. Not knowledge of self as a black man only, but knowledge of self as, as a human you, being. Rue, yeah, because as a human being. Because look, you more than your blackness. There was a saying, and I forgot where I heard it from. I think it was actually from a video game, but it was it was profound. <laughs> and it was like, you never know who you are or if you like who you are until you're trapped with yourself. And that's, and that's really true because I've spent the last few years really communing with myself, talking to myself, yes. meditating, dealing with my own mind. Watching seeing, your own actions too. Like, it. oh, Because most of the time when we're around people, we don't realize that we're human. So we're influenced by other people's actions. Oh, every, every, and people swear that they're not, but- No, nah, they are. You influenced by your friends, your, your family. family. everything. You, you do. Now, when you're by yourself, and when I say by myself, I want to make this clear- I may go three, four days without speaking English to someone. Dig it. And I understand <laughs> where you... I know what you're talking about. I know about. you do. And it's like... You, so you're going to have to talk to yourself. You on your own. You on your own. You find out your fears, your likes, your dislikes. Like, And to, to rewind a little bit, like for a while, like I'm dutch, ducking and dodging the snakes. Like... The snakes here, and it's looking a little paranoid. And my wife said, "Yo, they are not even phased now. These they're are viper snakes about that you. if it bites you, you die. Right, but they're not thinking about you. They're not on none of that." And but she laughed when I, when I ran in the house. They laughed, and I got a little offended, so I reversed it. Right. I said, "You be in a project for one day, and you hear gunshots, you gonna run?" And she was like, "Yeah, I'm. Like, I'm, I'm not. not." I said, "It's just we live in a you, different right, right. You used to different things." And and that's what I and that's that's why I really wanted to talk to you about that because you know living in a different country it takes so much courage I commend you for that thank my you bro brother. you did it but I'm gonna be honest and I'm saying this from purely from my heart you put that ball in motion for a lot of us because it was circulating yo you know Jay Rue live over there it wasn't just like he over there for a little while right no he lives over there and it was like that could be done. You know what I'm saying? That could really could be, be done. And, and, and I wanted to slow down a little bit. That and, New York life is very fast and I wanted to catch up to myself, basically. And and that's what it is and that's why I moved. I moved mm. in order to be more in touch with Rue because, you know, everything is that's all around That's deep you say that because as a person that know you, you are always in touch with yourself. But so I to really, even refine that is even deeper. I, 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 right. Like, I thought I knew. Yeah, facts. I thought I was in facts, touch. Facts. But I was like, shit, you, I'm not. Till you're on your own. I'm not. Till you're on your own. Till you're on your own. You know, and, 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 I, and I learned that, and it, it taught me so much of being by myself. Like you said, talking to yourself, because you have to talk to yourself. Because you said three, four, five days without I'm speaking, speaking English. English to somebody. You like, yeah, I could talk to people in German, and, and, and I get my point across, and I could do that and that. But to just have a deep conversation, mm -hmm. Yeah. And a deep one where I'm like, yeah. okay. Another thing I want to add is, if you're not a creative person, it's going to be hard to, man, to to work because in the beginning, when all I'm seeing is these Chinese figures and letters, I'm using landmarks and colors. Right. On a train, how to get to this point, to that right. point. My wife's like, how did you figure that out? Now, I memorized this building right here. That right, I knew right. when I get here, I got to make this. That's laugh. the ghetto survival skills. Yeah, exactly. That's how I survived in Japan at first. <laughs> it's the ghetto survival skills. You're like, oh, well, this look like this or this look like that. And you know, don't get me wrong. Nihongo wakarimasu. Demo mata josu jari masen. But I, I could rock and roll. You know, I even got a little rhyme. Boko wa oki papa san. I could do it a little no, bit in fire. Japanese. That's fire. But but like you said, you see that. And and, and it's good that you said that. You said these Chinese, because that's where the kanji and all that actually that's comes facts. from. That's a fact. It comes from China. That's a fact. That's it a comes fact. from China. And the letters. to my understanding, Japanese is a derivative from Korean and China. Right. Right, it, it came from, and it's China. funny. All three of them really don't. Rock. They, 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 they don't <laughs> like each other <laughs> at rock. all. But, rock. but that's that's the nature of men. Yeah, they've taught us to be like that, to be separate. Also, you, you usually conflict with the closest one in your proximity. Right. So when people like black people killing black people, well, it's you because go, we're in right. White people killing white people in their neighborhood. Right. Asians is gang members is right. killing Asians. Right. It's where you're yeah. at. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's where you're yeah. at. So they blew that kind of out of proportion. Right. Like we the only ones operating like right, that. Right. Right. No. Right. Everybody's operating yeah. like that. Whoever's closest to you, that's where you're gonna commit a crime that's again. It. That's it. That's I just mean, the bottom line, yo. That, and, and and we and you don't even think about offending someone outside of that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like. 
they they tricked they duped us with that one thinking we the only ones who pull that right. off. And, and you know, and the whole and that's what I got from living in Europe is that I've definitely seen that the whole way we look at things as far as black and white is concerned. I was gonna say that too. It's totally different. I was gonna see that because too. they they look at each other differently. Like we see a white person, we like, well, what we call a white person, we like, oh shit, white people. But they're more like, well, he's a German or That's he's right. a, a, a Irish guy. Yeah, and he's from Norway. And or he's, he's a Romanian. Yeah, he's a they, Viking. Yeah, right, they exactly. see each other differently. Another thing I would recommend anybody that ever takes a trip outside of New York, take a few minutes to look at the news and you'll see how differently they show us than we see ourselves. Oh, my goodness. The news, I remember the first time with Gangstar, Guru R.I.P., coming out here and, and watching CNN. Before CNN was really big in, in New York, cable, you know, was just starting as the 90s and getting real big. But their news was so different. So because different. It showed so many different places. Different aspects of the actual news, too. Like right. You're saying one, saying. One, the, a lot of people don't know the Associated Press means that this one picture and this one story is being distributed to the me major media. It's associated. And they're all telling the same exact story. It's associated. So when you get outside and see that different views of the news, you're like that. Like, for instance, um, a couple of years ago, the dude shot, shot the Dallas police officer. And I was on the phone with, uh, with my cousin. And she was like, oh, this is going down right now, blah, blah, blah. I went to the news on my laptop and it was like this content is not available in your district and it's like right uh -huh. so they're even censoring they to a you. different level as well so you, it's like it's it's rare for you to see a different aspect of yourself throughout the world but anyway I mean, and, and, and that's why I wanted, like I said, this is the Brussels. We in Brussels. That's that's crazy in itself. We in, dig it. East New York, the Bronx, Bronx and now Patterson we in, Project. We in Brussels, but we don't live here. You in German, and I'm in Japan. Like, and, and, and according to them, we were supposed to be dead at 21. That's a fact. But what I take from it is no fear. Like, no fear. You had no fear to go where your mom wanted you to go. Like you said, all right. I'm gonna be a, a a rapper, and I'm gonna I'm gonna speak my truth, and that took you around the world, and then you seen the world. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go live somewhere. I'm gonna travel. Like the world. a lot of people have these thoughts, but can't go. They act on them. They can't because of, of the fear of damn. What I'm gonna do when I get to Japan? Like, are they gonna speak my language? How I'm gonna make some money? Like, all that. It's like, all types of different yeah, fears. Trust yeah. me, I've I've lived them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Luckily I've lived for the them. internet, for us. Oh, the internet is a blessing. It blessed us, and, and yeah. that's why. You know, a lot of, and I want to, I, I want to address this to the older brothers in our generation. We need to learn this technology. That's a fact. We need to know this That's technology and use it to your advantage, especially if you have a brand, if you have something that you have given to the world, because it's so many people out there who probably haven't even heard or, or know of you, yeah. and you can reach them. Ninety percent of the people that are fans of your genre haven't heard of you. So that's always that much room to keep adding on. You just put me on to, 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 to the website that this is going to be um, the platform that this is going to be presented on. I never heard of that. Today. Right, right, right. But guess what? When I go home, I'm going to follow up. But certain people like They're you and I, do that. we do that. That's and I, I think we take, we take enjoyment out of knowing some new shit. Like I was one of the first dudes on MySpace, period. Come on. I was one of the first dudes with a computer, a home computer. That's a fact. That's a fact. I had a home and dudes computer. And dudes like, MySpace, like, you putting your music on that? And I'm like, yo. I seen the bigger picture like, yo, a dude in, in India could check my shit out. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you don't see that? It's all about, it's, it's all you, about expanding. You mentioned something the other day when I seen you, which was... Another thing brothers ain't getting up on is like Spotify and Spotify, and like Shopify, print on demand, and print stuff on demand. Like that. Yeah. You get yourself some. I meant to say Shopify. If you want one of these T-shirts, J. Ru the Damage or Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, go to my Shopify page, J. Ru the Damage or Store. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> you know, and it's all a uh, uh, OG. I'm not even gonna mention his name. That been in this game for a long time, multi millionaire. He's like, yo, hey, if a dude ain't winning right now in 2019, something ain't right. Right. And when I say by winning is just achieving your goal 
with all of these resources at hand, and a right. lot of them are just free. It's too many and if tools. You gotta manipulate those free tools, too many tools to get something out of it. Right? You know Anybody I mean? do, and that's what I find a lot of brothers from our era. They so bitter that they're not. You hit it. You hit the. They're not you taking the advantage of. They're mad at the youth. Not only the youth, they're mad at the fans. Like they That's put crazy. them in this position. I, I, I'm, I love the youth. I, I feed off of their vitality. I may not listen to. You know some what of that music. comes from, though. It comes from being embedded in the hood. We knew being outdated is almost equal to being extinct. Like right. you, that's part of your survival. Right. If you don't know the youth slang right now or what they saying about you when you walk in the building, you you playing on some funny territory right, right. right there. Shady. So you got to know through your nephews, your cousins, yo, what this, uh, oh, okay. Well, I said lit one time and my fans got tight and I'm like, yo, we ain't from the same place. So you may think that's a new term slang, but I'm hearing the youth in my hood say right, that. Right, right. I, I, I wrote that on, I wrote that on uh, my Instagram when I... This was a while back. I wrote something lit. And um They killed you for it. Shorty was like, you couldn't think of a better term? I'm like, that's what it is. That's, you know, like what that's you, what's popping. You want me to keep talking? And like, you know what I noticed about about hip hop and especially about our era of hip hop or the fans who like our era? They wanna be so technological with everything. They wanna else, be the gatekeepers too. But but they wanna keep us in the nineties. That's a fact. Like shit that you keeping since us then. in the nineties, but you got a smartphone. We didn't have smartphones in the 90s and the 80s. We didn't have the internet. You want to keep us in the 90s and the analog era, but yet you streaming shit. This is what I'm saying. You confusing the You whole, listen, right. Yeah, you mixing it up. You mixing it How's up. How's the 90s the best? You're not listening to that on the tape. You're not listening to that <laughs> no, on you, Yeah, you definitely you're streaming not. streaming that on you're Spotify. Definitely not. So I, I get it. I understand where they're coming from, and I totally appreciate it. I totally I do. love it. But I, that's the easiest way to get this music eliminated, though. If we don't adjust with the platforms and the time and bring that along with us, you're not going to have a platform to hear this. Right. And now you're going to be mad that you can't get it from nowhere. So you right. got to balance it. Everything is a balance. Everything is balanced. And you got to balance. Like, I like this type of music, but I know and understand. Because a lot of them, be, to be honest, that are complaining, they don't buy our shit. Right. Oh, no. Listen, one guy, because I have a thing I do. I'm calling this podcast a hip-hop road show. But I have another thing that I do on YouTube, because yes, I do have a YouTube, uh, follow that, uh, YouTube slash Jay the Damager one. A-G-D-I-T-C everything. Just see? Gmail, YouTube, website, see, Facebook, see? everything. We on that. Yeah. So, um, I got, so, and it's a show where I do, where with all the places I do shows, I go around and I, I, I do a little tour of the city and I do a little history That's behind fire. the city. And he was like, oh man, make new music. I don't want to see city videos. I'm like, well, one, you don't have to watch it. And two, when is the last record of mine you bought? Oh, I bought your first two albums. Well, son, that was 25 years ago. Yo, what that's let me doing say to this. Me? On top of that, I went through a, 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 a similar experience where the dude was like, yo. And I'm like, yo, do you actually buy my music? Have you ever been to one of my shows? And he said, I, I got all everything up to 98. And I'm like, yo, bro, you might not know it. But I have 39 projects. Wow. And if you only got the first three, you don't fuck with me. Right. You're just trying to control me. And that's what it is. They want you to do and act like how they want you to act. And like I said, I appreciate my fans. I do. I love my Without fans. Without them, we couldn't even rock. We, nothing. Yeah, we yeah. wouldn't be sitting here right now. But at the same time, you need to really support hip hop as a culture. You really need to support the artists. Mm -hmm. That you say you're a fan of. If, if 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 I support AG, then I should be on AG's website. I should be getting AG's t-shirts. I should be getting AG's new music. Even if I don't love it that much, I need to hope fact. that he's gonna come back and do something that I really love. But I love him so much that I want to make sure that he's because still you have it. to be aware that what AG and J. Rue is up against, their fans are constantly downloading and buying. Right. So. You don't like this music, but their fans are supporting their music 100%. So to keep me or Jay Rue alive, when you come to the show, buy that shirt, buy that vinyl, get it autographed, hang it up and say I had an experience, but just not supporting, you're kind of going against your own self because if if we don't support, get support through this, then it will die out. Right. We got to keep, keep it alive. And, and you know, 
something else I want to touch on is for the guys from Iowa, because I'm from Iowa, we have to stop being so bitter and so mad at the youth. They're getting it. They're getting their money. They're doing their thing, and that's their and thing. And it's, it's their thing. That's their thing, and we need to, See, we need to appreciate it. at our age it. and our experience, it's our time to plateau. It's their time to rise and do all of that. Right. Now, if you haven't made a hole for you, dug a hole for yourself in the sand and, and got your weapons together at this stage, then maybe they ain't in your cards. Right. You know what I'm you, saying? You, but you, like you, you said, to... you're doing a website. You got the spot, um, Shopify jumping off. I got the website. We know that and realistically know, like, I don't have the energy. I don't want to compete with that. I just right. want to make what I make and what the fans accept me for and plateau off. Now, right. like you said... It's in us that one time we might want to wake up and say, I got a determined idea. I want to do this. Right. And that might bring you to Grammy. Right. But that's on your time. That's something right. that you want to do. You have to work on that. And you can't get mad at everything that's going on around you. Mm -hmm. You have to accept life for what it is. And I mean, you know, everybody say this is a young man's game. or that's a, Life is a young man's game. Life. <laughs> yeah. Every movie you've seen, every gangster story you heard, the life young nigga the young. took... The life, nigga life out. of the young you know man. Yeah, like, yeah. You go to the lions, the young lion. That's why the old lions run off the the, the, the babies when they're a certain age. Because they like, nah, you ain't going to take my spot, son. Yeah. So, <laughs> nah, that's a Jew. You that's know, the, Jew. right? They run that's them off. That's a Jew. I didn't, I didn't get that like, before, Right, right. But the male lions, when, when they have babies, they run off all the males once they At get a, a certain age. age. Go out. Because I know what's... Naturally supposed to happen because you're gonna take over the tribe. You're gonna take over. You're gonna take over my pride. And the young lion or the young dude in the hood don't want to hear the old dude talk him out of making this action because you got the experience to say go this way. Now I gotta fail myself. Fill it out. So yeah. you know, fill it out and, and love. And it I gotta and fail. You failed to get that knowledge. Right. You just want to give it to me. Right. And, but see, and and you know that too because I feel like. The youth today are they listen a little less. I know we didn't listen. I'm not trying to act like oh we're smart and we were the best. They listen generation. more to action though, cause we would listen. We would listen to what the OG said. And, we were more connected. Turn, you said and, something earlier about they got us disconnected, and that's right, the right. And 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 that's another. Excuse me, that's another thing. They have disconnected us. Yeah. So, the youth don't. Respect us, and we don't cherish them. That's a fact. They have us. There. That's exactly so. So so said. we can't we can't use their strength, and they, and they can't, can't use, use our, our knowledge. Yeah. Right? They can't use our wisdom. But they, we all know that's a plan that that was pre planned. You right? Know what I'm saying because because we need that in order to rock. I need you. I need this young man. I need this twenty year old. This twenty five year old to be the sergeant. I have these plans. I've seen this happen. So yeah, I can show you, sure, come on, let's sure. do this. We can take and, it over. And to show and prove that is that they're not, we're not connected, so we're not around. We're not in the same circles. So they can't see my actions. So whatever right. I'm saying is just talk. Right. It, it ain't no action behind it because they're not even around to and see And with that. them, everything is talk. Everything. Unless if we were connected, we wouldn't even have to talk. Unless we put it, it on Instagram. Yeah. Now we and gotta play that game, right? Because and, and and that's the crazy thing too. Like they tell on themselves like crazy. Like yeah, they like I'm no no disrespect, but they born snitches. Like, Yo, it's <laughs> like it's like a different era, and it's like you don't know that right there. That that's gonna get you sent up, or that's gonna get you caught up. But for some reason, they let niggas rock until they wanna rock out and right. say, okay, come on, then you know you wasn't supposed to say this that. And a lot of them don't really know what I've learned is. They don't know the business like we do because we learn from falling and getting up. This era, you can, instant you, stars you, to a degree. You could be home right now with the same setup and 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 be world famous, but never had no experience to go with that. Right. Know? So you really can't teach right. it to another person. No bumps and bruises, and you need bumps and bruises, people. I want to tell you this: you need bumps and bruises. It to defines you. Make it through life. Yeah. You need to get beat up. You don't know how to fight until you got beat up. And you scared to fight, but when you got beat up, you're not scared no more. No, that's I know what that be. felt like. Okay, I know. Cool. I, yeah, I've been beat up. So. I've been beat up too. <laughs> when you haven't, you don't you don't know what that feeling is, right. so you're afraid to even experience right. that. Right. And, and, and it's not about getting beat it up. It's cause see, you know we're gonna get metaphor. beat up. It's just a matter right. of and, and, and you like get you beat said, up. mishandled. <laughs> you and, 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 and this is the thing. 
It doesn't matter if you get beat up. It matters what happens after you get beat That's up. That's with anything in life. It doesn't matter the action. It matters what how you address that after action. After that action. If you make a record that flopped, that shit means nothing. It's what's the next record you're going to make. Or right. are you going to quit? Are you going to keep going? Right. It don't matter if you get knocked down. It matter if you get up. That's a fact. You know? So, and, and that's just something that I want to impart on people that's watching. It's like I said, this is... Hey, thank you so much for coming because this really I enjoyed me, it, yo. Me beginning, you know, and I wish I had this set up in the dressing room. We would have really, we would, especially it been crazy with the energy that was going that we on. had. It would have been crazy. But um, so this is my man AG. Peace. Jerry the Damager, the Hip Hop Road Show. We in Brussels. We just having a little talk, a little chit, a little chat. Are there any projects or anything that you're working on that you'd like to? Tell people before we go. For sure. Um, I just recently put out a project called A Taste of Ambrosia. Um, I just released it on vinyl as well. And it has a production of uh, uh, sh uh, Showbiz. It got Lord Finesse, Diamond D, Alchemist. Digging in the crates. You know what I'm saying? Digging in the crates. Y'all already know that. <laughs> Marco Polo or whatever. And now I got this other joint called um, AG. It, the album is called AG, Always Game. And um, it actually was recorded with my man Party Artie D. Floor and my crew back What's then. What's up with your man Artie, son? He passed away. That's right, yeah, long yeah, time, yeah, yeah, a minute yeah. ago, right? Yeah, yeah, that's How many fact. years ago was that? It was a while. Because I think I asked you that before, because I yeah, remember yeah, going yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That's, no, that was my dude. Got that going on. Then I got another album I'm working on that's going to be executive produced by Law Finesse. You know, he's a musical, he's into his musical thing and all of that. And mostly, last but not least, by the end of 2020, 2020, I will be releasing my book called Thinking Out Loud. That's what it is. So, once again, the Hip Hop Road Show, your man, Jay Ruta Damager, my brother, A.G., hey. Andre the Giant, a giant in the mental. You know what time it is. We're out. Peace. Peace.